Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about types of shadows created by celestial bodies. And in this video, I'll review the umbra, the penumbra, and the antumbra. Let's first take a look at this short video. Flashlight and look at the different types of shadows. In the middle, you have the umbra, which is the darkest portion. Around the edges, you have the penumbra, and then the shadow at the edge of the umbra is called the antumbra. So there are three shadows. Now let's take a look at what different eclipses you see according to which part of the shadow you are in. And here are those same shadows in a little bit different picture. You have the umbra, which is the darkest portion. The edges, which are the penumbra. And then where the umbra ends, you have the antumbra. They also, depending on where the earth and moon is found, which part of the shadow, you get different types of eclipses. If the earth or moon is found in the umbra, you get the following eclipses. You get a total solar eclipse. You get a total lunar eclipse. And also a partial eclipse lunar eclipse. Now if the earth or moon is found in the penumbra, you get a partial solar eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse, and or a penumbral lunar eclipse. And finally, if the earth or moon is found in the antumbra part of the shadow, you get a annular solar eclipse. And here's what that looks like. So there we go, the different shadows created by celestial bodies. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.